Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Today I'm here with my first episode of Creating with Slim Card Stash. Shonda, who is Slim Cards, um, she and I had done a little bit of a swap not too long ago where we traded items that we had purchased at Tuesday morning where we split up some paper packs. And then we also gifted each other items from our current stash that kind of went with it or things that we had extra of. Um, and so we decided to go ahead and do a little video series of what we also created with each other's stash um, that we had swapped. And so this is my first episode. I believe she has at least one episode out there already of what she's done with the stash that I sent her. So I will link that below in the description box so you guys can check it out. It's kind of fun to see what she created with everything that I sent her. Um, she made some gorgeous cards for her first episode. And so I'm just going to go through real quick what I use that she sent me. Um, so she did send me some of these um, really cute little butterflies. And so I used one of those on one of the projects I'm going to share with you guys. She sent me a whole bunch of this um, beautiful lace trim. It's kind of in a nice mint green. So I used that on my projects. Um, she also gifted me some of these bright pink... Um, little hat pins and so I did use a couple of those on a project. Um, she gifted me some of these little barrettes. These are like little kids barrettes and um, what you do to add them to your cards is you just cut snip off and I just use regular scissors. I was able to, to snip this off and then I also snipped off this little knob on the back side. Um, and then you can just glue it down and use it kind of as an embellishment. So I did use one of those on one of the projects I created. She also gifted me some of this Bow Bunny um, stickers that she got at Tuesday morning. And this one comes from the Sweet Moments collection. And I just used one of the stickers that was at the top. Um, Shonda also gifted me a Crafter's Companion die from Tuesday morning. This one says to a special friend and that's what it looks like when you cut it out. Um, so I did use this on one of the cards that I created today and then I had this punched out extra because I might put this as a sentiment on one of the insides of the cards that I created but I'm not sure yet. So um, she did split up this Sore paper pack that she purchased at Tuesday morning. It's really pretty with all these different um, cutouts and I and the cards that I'm going to share with you today I use everything but this piece right here and then this piece up here um, this piece right here I'm just going to make a little mini um, writing notebook for inside one of my junk journals with it but I just didn't get a chance to get that done before I filmed today and then I We'll probably do something similar with that one for one of my junk journals. But otherwise, all the other pieces I did use on projects today. And then she also, from that same paper collection from Bo Bunny, um, she gifted me this piece of paper. Um, or actually several of them. And so I did use a few of those in my projects today. Um, but really pretty shabby chic looking paper. And then as I was going through my stash trying to find like card stock to match um, for my cards and um, different things, I came across this paper right here which is from Kaiser Craft that I purchased at Tuesday morning a while ago. It is kind of embossed. Um, and this one is called Prayer and it's from the Charlotte's Dream Collection. So I did come across that which I thought matched um, even the backgrounds on some of these paper really nicely. So I did use that on several of my projects today. And so um, I'll get, get going. The first few things that I created were some cards and these are all 5 by 7 cards. And we could use items also in our stash besides what was gifted to us. Here's the first card that I'm going to share with you. Um, on this card, again, you can see the main image from one of those papers, the sofa. And I also used um, the sticker that said Wonderful that I got from Shonda. And that pretty green trim right here. And then there's also some green trim um, underneath this teardrop bead trim from my stash. Um, so for this card, I did layer it up on some cardstock. There are several pieces of paper. Um, I used part of this paper for the, the base layer. Then there's a pink piece um, of scrap that I had. And then, of course, this main image. And there was, like I said, the trim behind it. 
I added some of my teardrop bead trim at the bottom. I have a couple little pieces of bling right here just because I wanted it to to match the center of this flower better and these. Um, so I just added that extra little detail. Um, up at the top corner, I did use a partial die cut of a doily. And these pink flowers came from the $1.50 spot at Michael's. Up in the corner, um, if you look behind this flower, you can see I have some of those um, hat pins that Shonda gifted me. And what I did with these, because they were a bright pink, is I just put a little bit of a lighter pink um, acrylic paint over them. And so it just kind of lightened it up a little bit. And then this flower right here came from my stash. I can't remember what company, but I bought that at a local um, store off of their clearance rack and it already had the center in it, which is so pretty. And then this little bead trim right here that's in this nice mint green color, um, that came from Karen Brake here on YouTube. She had participated in my No Left Door Scraps challenge and had gifted me some of her trim, her bead trims. And um, like I said, it just matched perfectly and I kind of like to hang things from my little flower clusters. Um, so it worked perfectly. So I did use that on a lot of my projects today. Um, but I wanted to share that with you. So that was the first card that I created. Here's the second card. This one looks a little bit more vintage shabby just because I did ink the edges um, in a in a, in a a brown ink. So that kind of makes it have a little bit more of a vintage feel where this one I did not ink my edges. Um, so that's kind of how it looks a little bit different. Um, so this one I used some cardstock from my collection, some pink paper scraps from my collection. And then on top of that I just layered some of those cutouts from the Soiree paper collection that Shonda gave me. Um, and then I had some vintage lace sitting on my table, my crafting table. So I did go ahead and add that, but I easily could have added some of that mint green trim that Shonda gave me, but I just figured this one was the right size and it was just sitting on my table. So I decided to use that up instead of cutting more into her trim a little bit more. Um, I added some cheesecloth right here in the corner. Then that sentiment to a special friend, um, I put over that. And I did do glossy accents on that. And I die cut it out like three times and glued it together. It just makes it a little bit more sturdy. And then I have a little flower cluster. And I think all those flowers came from Wild Orchid Crafts. Along with these little um, flower stamens that I like to hang off underneath my flowers. And then I die cut this little banner piece out with one of the scraps. And then added the Tim Holtz sentiment, do small things with great love, which I think is a Mother Teresa sentiment. Um, but I love how that one turned out also. Um, really pretty. And the insides are blank for right now. Um, just because I figured I could add sentiments to them as I give them out to people. So that was the second card that I created. The third card that I created is this one. And it says, home is where the heart is. I did die cut, or not die cut, but use part of the cut aparts for that. Um, some more of Shonda's pretty trim. And then I layered up some pieces of scraps that were left over from cutting up my other projects, along with this little heart was I cut out with some of the scraps. I added some cheesecloth behind there. I had this little bead spray. Um, and I used bits and pieces of bead spray to kind of create this one. Um, they were just leftover pieces and so I like how that turned out. And then the little pink paper in the background is from my stash along with right there and just some scraps I had that matched. And again on this one I did ink my edges in a brown ink to kind of make it have that little bit more vintage feel to it. But again I love how this one turned out with that paper collection. It's so pretty. The last project I have to share with you is an altered composition notebook. Um, a couple of years ago, I picked up a whole bunch of composition notebooks really cheap. It was either at Walmart or um, Target after the school year had started, and I got them for like 12 or 15 cents or something like that. Um, and so I've decided this year I'm going to try really hard to make a dent in those and alter a lot of composition notebooks, so you'll probably be seeing a lot of those on my channel. Um, just to use up that stash. And then I have some nice ready-made gifts to give out to people um, when I send out happy mail. And so here is the one I created. This was that big um, cutout from 
that sorry paper collection and then I layered up some cheesecloth behind there there's a text scrapbook paper behind that that just came from my paper stash and then that Kaiser craft paper is in the background on that one um, at the bottom there is some more of that mint green trim from Shonda some of that teardrop trim from my collection I again cut out a little banner piece and put a Tim Holtz sentiment on it which says collect beautiful moments um, all the flower pieces did come from Wild Orchid Crafts. This little butterfly was from Shonda's collection that she gifted me. And then here's that little Brett I used up here. There is a flower, I mean not flower, but some bead sprays up here that I picked these up at the thrift store. Um, really cheap. And then across the spine, um, there's three layers of lace. I have a white layer and then... The green trim that Shonda gifted me and then some of this pink crochet trim and then again some more of Karen Brake's um, mint green bead trim that she gifted me and so I'll hold it up close so you guys can kind of check out all the details but I love adding lots of little extra details to my little flower cluster so the bead trims and then there's some more of those stamens there um, little pink ones there's that little barrette here's these and so that's kind of what that looks like. And then the back side, I usually leave pretty plain. So you can see the white lace a little bit better on the back side there. Um, and then these, I also go ahead and add um, some of the scrapbooking paper, um, which this was part of that Soiree collection. Again, Sh Shauna gifted me quite a few sheets of it. So um, I use that on the inside right here. And then here was some of that Kaiser Craft paper that I put right there. Um, so that was the last project that I created and hopefully you guys will check back to my channel later to see because I'm going to plan on doing at least I think two more episodes for sure of the items that Shonda gifted me. So hopefully you check out those channels later or my channel later on to see what I've created with some of her other um, products that she sent me. And then of course don't forget to check out Shonda's channel who is Slim Cards to see what she is creating with the stash that I sent her. This was a really fun swap to do. And I'm having a blast um, creating with the items that she sent me. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.